Nation are on fire! Hello, my name's Luke Riley. I'm 23 years old and I'm fighting up with Next Generation Liverpool. My next fight is the 15th of April in Manchester on Cage Warriors. Bit about myself, I'm just a. That, well, I look at myself like a normal 23 year old lad who just is obsessed with fighting. It's my passion since 10 years old of being just, just a gym rat lad, so that's all I can say, nearly. So, how did you get into fighting and what did you start off with? Getting into fighting, well, when I was very young, I done bits of bits of judo. Like when I was, say, four or five years old, five till ten, I was just doing what every kid in in the country does, lad, playing out on the front, going out with me mates, playing footy of a of a Saturday. And then I got into, started off kickboxing in Timas. I, I don't know how I really even got into it because I'm no one from my family's fighters or. I'm not from like a fighting background, so they're just all working class people. But got into kickboxing in Timas in Vazakh and met Darren O'Connor, my Thai boxing coach. But then went on to Thai box for five years, moved on to amateur boxing five years, and then now where I'm at now, next generation MMA. Coming about next gen was a mad one because I was amateur boxing at the time for Gemini ABC in Speak. And I just shouted my mum up to the door and said, literally I just said, I'm, I'm, got, I'm quitting boxing, I'm doing MMA. And I told me, um, I was at Gemini, but I was doing pads with me coach Scotty at the time. And I told him, and he got in touch with everyone he knew, and he asked everyone uh, what the best MMA gym was, and they all said next gen. A few, a few of us said a few different gyms in the early, but there was kids around my age, and I, like at the time, I'm a... I'm a competitive person, lad. I wanted to fight them. I didn't want to be teammates with them. So I was looking at the gyms with the kids my age, I was like, no, I'm not going to that gym. I'm going to the gym where I want, I want to want to be against every one of them. So next gen, that's where it ended up. And that's how long you've known Scotty for as well? Scotty, so I was amateur boxing at the time. So I started amateur boxing about 15 and like a year in. That's it, yeah, a year in. So from 15 till to now. To now. So what's that, yeah, eight years. Getting them 12 rounds in every week. Solid work, hard to turn. 
needs to be done with my hands everyone knows me because of my hands in the MMA game this is why I had because 12, 50 rounds every week and in sparring but every Friday lad, I'm putting it in no one's the intensity I'm doing it as well it's 100% every shot I'm not half assed or it's all in that all in so it's good lad what a typical day, Dolly Bradley. <laughs> we, we laugh about this. It's literally wake up, turn up to the gym five minutes late, lad, because I'm rushing, waking up late, get me session in, come home, eat, go to bed, wake up, go to the gym, come back, get in bed, watch a movie, repeat, lad. That's it. Yeah, that's Until literally it. Until fight day. <laughs> and then out of camp, lad, it's just that, but with eating. In between. Jordan, your sessions at next gen, what would be your favourite session? Tuesdays and Thursdays, not yeah. yourself. Sparring, lad, sparring days. I'm always made up when I wake up on a Tuesday and Thursday. And now, Thursday in particular, because you're emulating the fight, the closest to the fight, obviously, little gloves, shin pads, and head guards. So you can work every, every part of your game with the little gloves, lad. Intense as well with the people in the gym who have got in. Yeah, I've noticed, like, I'm not saying that all the fighters don't do it, but there's a few that really go all out yeah. when it comes to sparring. Yeah, I've of course. You and Luke, uh, Liam Gittins yeah. always go at it. Me and Gittins, lad. It's a sick round. Eh? Yeah. Me and Lit, honestly, you pay. It's you pay, like people say, you pay to watch the spars. Me, me and Gittins do four or five rounds, and then we always grab each other on the six where we're both tired. And we just, honestly, everyone's round watching it. We just bang it out lad, round six. Just go until we Kick Yeah, right each just other. beat each other up, lad, and then hug each other at the end. How it should be. But yeah, Gittin's the nightmare, man. It's a horrible guy. On the same night as you. Yeah, Gittin's as well, who's going to make a big statement in the um, Bantamweight division, lad. He's fighting Rory Evans, so be a good fight, but I think Gittins is just going to be a bit too much for them, to be honest. How's your fight camp going, and uh, what can your fans expect out of this next fight? Fight camp is honestly the best fight camp to date. I've stuck to my strength and conditioning. I've been on for the first time in my MMA career. It was a bit, not a, a bit all over the place, lad, with what like with the structure and stuff. But now I've got the structure down, and. Everything lad is just going. I'm in the best shape, look, physical condition. With four weeks out, it's gonna be your best performance to date. How do you feel about your fighting career so far? Going on track is just on schedule, lad. It's <laughs> I've always said I'm in. I'm only 23. I'm in no rush, and I feel like the pace I'm at right now is just the, the perfect, perfect pace. I'm just plodding along. Knocking people out, lad. What can your fans expect from it? What they always get, lad. Just explosiveness. Looking for the kill 24-7 in the cage. Just every second looking looking to hurt somebody. Yes, the people, thanks for watching the episode. Um, April 15th, thank you to all my sponsors, teammates, everyone who's bought a ticket. I'll see you all there. And make sure you keep an eye out for the next vlog. And make sure you like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel.